Where we left off yesterday, we had made one massive successful game uh, that uh, was... Uh, oh, it was... Uh, War Pigs, right? And then War Pigs 2. Those were really successful games. But one of our games was like a massive crazy seller. Uh, I think it was War Pigs 2, Boar Never Changes. Oh, Encyclopedia Brown. That's right, McGalaxy. It was Encyclopedia Brown. It was perfect. Um, so uh, we got our huge success. We have a ton of money. But we're taking some time before we move into the new office um, to build up uh, a lot of our research points and our engines and things like that because we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Uh, and so some point today we'll go through there. But the um, Gameling, I think is what it's called, the Game Boy basically, uh, has just come out. So we're going to make a game for that. Okay. Do, do, do I want the optimal dials or no? I, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, I'll, I'll ask you guys maybe for like tips and help and stuff like that, but I don't want like literally for someone to be looking at the um, wiki and being like, okay, you, for this type, you have to do this and this. Just like we're going to talk it through. We're going to be like, oh, an adventure game. What should that be? Oh, well, this game. We should do it. Have you ever played the Hogs of War? I have not. Is that a real game? Uh, okay. So we have 13 research points. Uh, that new console just came out. Let's get a new... Um, let's get better user experience, honestly. Oh, it costs 15. All right, let's do a new topic. Prison, detective, game dev, and fashion. What if we do... Because the last Encyclopedia Brown was a mystery, right? Um, let's get a prison. Let's get prison. Because we can do a prison sim, right? Let's start that research. We can basically make the escapist. You loved that game growing up? Oh, cool. I never heard of it. Hogs of War. New office. Congratulations. You've made quite a name for yourself. Yes, yes, yes. We know. Um, not yet. It's going to ask us that like every now and then, I think. Especially researched a new topic. Okay, cool. Let's develop a new game. Let's be for everyone. Let's make... Oh, we, we had said we want to, first thing we want to do is we want to make space pigs, uh, like the mini, mini space pigs. So it's like space piglets uh, <laughs> on the gameling. Yes, we're okay with paying for the license. Yes. Uh, pick game engine, the swine engine. So what do we want to call this one? The small one. Saving the bacon, a pig prison escape story. Ah, Ice Chang, that's so good. Saving the bacon. I like that. Ah, oh, drop them bike shorts, y'all. We'll do that one. Hey, you know what? Sure, we'll do that one first. Uh, <laughs> saving the bacon. We'll call it a sim. Uh, we'll put it on the gameling swine engine for everybody. Saving the bacon. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, for everyone. All right, because it's on the gameling, so I think that makes sense. Highest quality graphics we can go for. Let's do it, y'all. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Okay, so for a sim, uh, I think engine and gameplay both need to be pretty high, right? I think pretty pretty much so. So let's do that. Bore of the worlds. Nice. All right, so let's do that. Um, and then, yeah, saving the bacon. All right, yeah, looking good so far. Okay, so... Again, dialogue's probably not so important. AI is probably pretty important for a sim, and level design's probably pretty important, I would imagine, right? Like, maybe both of these just, like, equal. Level design's really important for a prison sim. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's do that. Keep it even. Hey, Riley Birdie, how's it going? Rhythm Oink Chaos Knight is now off the market. It sold 32,257 units, generating about a quarter of a million in sales. All right, so graphics sound. All right, we're going to go more graphics. Good sound. World design a little bit lower. Something like this. But pretty much everything. Saving the bacon. That's so good. All right, the growing interest in video games. There's also a growing audience for video game magazines. Ah, yes. We can uh, market soon. So we're going to get that research ASAP. Do, 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 do. All right, all right. Yeah, let's get those bugs out of here. Nice. Are you? 
How are we doing saving the bacon? Right, and as far as research goes, what's it going to cost to get marketing? Because we have a ton of money. Okay, we need 40 RP. Because we have a ton of money. So if we can market like crazy, that's going to help us a lot. The first views have come in. How are we doing? Saving the bacon. A seven. All right, we'll take it, Star Games. Thanks. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know, you got you to gotta start somewhere with Prison Sims. Nice experience. Okay, thank you, Game Hero. Appreciate that. All right, sevens across the board. Acceptable, okay? I'm cool with it. Do do do. Now, uh, let us. We got to get some more research points, so let's just work on a new game. Uh, let's do Space Pigs. We're going to do the new Space Pigs. It's going to be for everybody. Genre, action, platform, gameling, because we're already spending money on it. Swine Engine, let's go. Okay, so that's a solid game right there, Ice Chang. It's a solid game. Uh, which, what do we want to call this one? Because this is like, here's the way I, I think of this game, okay? This is a, um, it's like a spin-off type game because it's on the mobile, or the handheld. Uh, so think of it like um, Link's Awakening, is that what it's called? The, the, that one? Where it's like, it's not one of the numbered ones. So what, what should we call it? It's like, not Space Pigs. How about Star Pigs? Star Pigs is what you call it. Star Piglets. When it's on, uh, when it's on a mobile game, Star Piglets instead of Space Pigs. Okay, so this is Star Piglets one. Okay, let us. Too bad I wasn't playing slots with those. Yeah, that would have been nice, huh? Okay, here we go. When can I start adding microtransactions? Oh, goodness. Okay. Gameplay all the way. Engine's okay. Story and quest is okay. But gameplay all the way. Let's do it like this. It's an action game. Mostly needs gameplay. Pigless space. <laughs> That's the strategy game version. All right. Here we go. Oh, Vena, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vena Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the game link from Ninvento. Spokesperson said, unlike some devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, is basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. Oh, also has a full color screen. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. It's the Game Gear. Okay, so dialogue's not so important. Level design, very important. AI, pretty important. I think we'll do something like this. Metal like solid. I like that. I like that. Okay, and let's see. Um, I feel like world design is pretty important. We're going to do everything kind of pretty high, but like, something like this. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at them numbers. All right. A lot of bugs. A lot of bugs. But 35 research. So one more game, we'll be able to research uh, marketing. So that'll be good. All right. Let's take it. What up, so cool? Good to see you. All right, let's just get through this. Click, click, click. All right, release game. Quite a uh, name for ourselves. Yes, I know, I know. Um, we want to wait until we make one more like hit game. You know, that's kind of my my marker for success here. Uh, let's do a follow up to. Let's go for... What type of game was Encyclopedia Brown? It was a mystery. It was an adventure game. Put it on the game link. Swine Engine. For everyone. Uh, Encyclopedia... Ooh! Wikipedia <laughs> Cyan. <laughs> That's the uh, futuristic cyberpunk version of it. All right, here we go. It's for everybody. Do, 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 do. I'm mostly just trying to get some... Oh, now the game gear is out. All right, how do people think about Star Piglets? Nice! Outstanding game. Yeah, can't wait for the sequel. No, oh, you're the worst game hero. Play it for days. All right, all right. It's okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Wikipedia, yeah. <laughs> 
Borcarda Crimson. I like that. Borcarda. All oh, right. Uh, okay, so we're doing a mystery adventure. It's like all about story quests, right? Something like this. All right, Saving the Bacon has generated f half a million in sales, so very good. And this is why you sell on these new, uh, on these different consoles. Ooh, that's a lot. All right, dialogue's way up. Level design, pretty important. AI, less important. It's pretty much all about them dialogues, I think. Ooh, look at them sales, y'all. That's good. All right, and then we want uh, world design, graphics, sound. I mean, these are both. These are all probably pretty much like right around where they need to be. I think, basically, like this. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that design score. Let's get rid of them bugs. There we go. All right. Was just playing this game for the first time, loving it. Awesome, Black Mask. I'm glad. Did you get it because you saw it yesterday? Because if so, I am happy to know that because uh, that's why we do what we do, basically. Uh, okay, 2D Graphics th version 3 and 3D Graphics version 1. We're going to definitely want to research all that. But now we can research marketing. So that's going to be huge for us. So let's get marketing um, because we can really ramp stuff up there. The first reviews for Wikipedia Cyan have come in. Oof, outstanding. You are the devil, game hero. All right, all right, we'll take it, man. That's pretty good. That averages above, that averages as to a nine. That's pretty great. Piggy guesser. Squeo guesser. <laughs> all right, we're doing research. Okay, in two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. Yep. Wikipedia Cyan has sold 90,000 in the first week. Oh, you guys. All right, we're going to move into the new office soon. All right. <laughs> Successfully unlocked marketing. You can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while a game is in development. Uh, oh, oh, so here's something really interesting about this game. Black Mask and everybody out there, because uh, I think this is hilarious. Uh, the company that made this game put in one of the best... Um, anti-piracy components to a game I've ever seen. And the way that it works is if you pirated this game, um, you know, because there, there are ways for them to detect if a game is a pirated version rather than a full version, if it's cracked or whatever, right? Uh, so they put a thing in the code where if you pirated the game, um, people uh, uh, in the game, uh, your game will start to get pirated a bunch until you can no longer, like, uh, last... Uh, in the industry. So like basically it's like if you pirated the game then your games in game will get pirated to the point to where you cannot play the game. It's I thought that was a pretty smart clever way to deal with that. It's like no you can play it but it's not going to be very fun. Uh, Alright let's check game history real quick. I just want to see what the games we have are. Wikipedia Cyan got a 9. Star Piglet saving the bacon. Where is uh, Encyclopedia Brown got a 9.5. That's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. All right. Top sales rank was number one. Star Piglets. All right. So Wikipedia Siam was top sales rank number 10. So that's not even not even up there, man. But it still did really well. Okay. So we're definitely going to be... Um, the next time we get the opportunity to head to the new uh, place, we're going to do it. Uh, so can we research anything right now? These cost 80, this cost 15. Let's do, um, some contract work. Because this should, I think, help us with research points, if I'm not mistaken. Star Pickles is off the market. Okay. If you're not a fan of Nintendo don't now, then chances are you'll be you will be after playing their latest hit, Wikipedia Cyan. Whoever wrote the story of Wikipedia Cyan will likely win a prize for it. Only a game with unicorns, rainbows, pirates, and ninjas could possibly be better. Um Ah, that's awesome, French. 
Just what he wanted. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's do another contract if we can. Set up computers. We'll probably do that. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Governor has filed for bankruptcy. Governor failed to introduce a higher price alternative. Ah, so sad. Goodbye, Governor. All right. Yeah, get them research points. Get them tech points. Let's do this. Basically, just waiting for them to say, hey, you want to move into a new office? G64 is no longer support. Thank you for the quick work. Yes. I think we have one more contract that we have available. 15 and 2 in five weeks. We can do that. Um, then we might just have to make another game. It's okay. Let's do that. Right on, Governor. Right on. <laughs> Congratulations. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, let's move. We have six million to work with for now. All right, welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. You may also uh, train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by competing, completing a management course which is required before you can hire your first employee. Get started, close this message, and then click on your character to bring up the training menu. So this is where things get real weird. Let's get staff management skill. Okay. Because we're going to start hiring people, and what you're going to notice is that our design and tech scores are going to be way higher than usual, but that's not going to equate to the scores of our games necessarily being much better. Uh, okay, Wikipedia Cyan is now off the market. It sold 333000 and it generated $2.3 in sales. Oof. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's very disappointing. A penalty of minus 5K will be applied. Oh, I, I failed the project because I... Um, didn't finish it before I moved offices. That's fine. I don't care. Well done. You've successfully completed your management course, and you're now able to hire your first employee. To get started, close this message, and then click the Fill Position button, which is visible near the desk. Let's do it. Okay. Before you can hire someone, you have to advertise the open position, set an advertising budget, and decide how you want to test your applicants. A higher budget will increase the number of applicants, and the different tests will help find people with the right balance of design and tech skills. All right. We want to start with um, someone who is in the middle. So game demo. Complex algorithms, that's someone who's going to be high on tech. Show real, that's going to be someone who's high on design. Game demo is somewhere in the middle. What's the maximum budget we can do? Is two million? Eh, we don't need to spend two million on that. Let's spend, uh, we'll go for halfway. So we'll spend about 500,000. It's a lot of money. But we want to get the best staff, right? Seems that Nintendo don't has recently moved into an office in a well-known technology park and is now searching for employees. The company, which is known for games such as Wikipedia Cyan and Encyclopedia Brown, has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. You know it. One of the many fans of Wikipedia Cyan commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now and those games were created by only one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. All right, sounds good. So when do I get bought up at one of the larger companies such as Macroheart? <laughs> Uh, the search for open position is complete. You can now review the list of applicants and hire someone for this position. Don't forget that you can always train your employees to improve their skills. Okay, so. Ooh, that first person wasn't that bad. 182. Man, that first person's the one. Way high compared to the other person. 21k per month. I think we can do that. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at speed in research. Alright, so it's 206 and 193. 163 and 236, 178 and 221. Yeah, still, I think this is the one I want. Yep, let's do it. Hired. All right. Famous. Hire someone. Fa oh, we hired someone famous. What's. Who is it? Congratulations on your first hire. New employees have to settle. Warden Vector. Oh. Before they become uh, fully effective. When a character is not fully efficient, you can see an efficiency bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. Welcome, Warden. It's usually a good idea to have your new staff uh, a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximize their efficiency way faster than normal to do this. Close this mission and click on the character to bring up the action menu. Uh, and now we can research medium games. All right. So let's uh, train. Staff welcome training. Yay. Welcome to the crew. How do you do? I did not hire Jeeve Sobs, no. Okay. So... Now, let's see. What else can we do for, as far as training? If you want to create hit games and have a world-class team, then training them is important. For best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different options. Some options are better to increase certain skills. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which is best. It's useful to have a mix of specialists and all-rounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist and technology specialist. Okay. So now, oh, I can tell this person 
to work on these different things. Game dev gems, make me think. Game design for pirates, don't repeat yourself. Encoding complete. So I don't know what these do yet. I think once I complete them, it'll tell me what the effect is. But these all boost their different stats. But for now, let's just start our first new game here. Um, let's get uh, a new one going. How about... Well, you know what? No, let's do this. Let's research. Let's research a new topic. Let's grab... We're going to make a meta game. We're going to get the game dev thing. And while we do that, we'll have you train on game dev gems. Because why not? How long does it take to finish this? I'm just seeing this little thing up here. It's not telling me what you're doing. You still, you still going? What's going on over here? Guess they're still going. Guess we just gotta wait. Ah, plus one is what they gained. One technology, one design. Okay. Okay. You done? All right, cool. Let us make a game. Develop a new game. Uh, pick a topic. Game dev inception is real. I know, right? We're going to make a game dev. Going to make it a sim. Going to put it on the game link. Uh, and we're going to call it um, Pigtendo. Swine engine. All right. Got to make a new engine soonish, but I got to get a ton of research points. I think we get way more research points now that we have more people because they're each generating research points. So that'll be good. Okay. We are once again doing a um, simulation game. We're going to take off the linear story. Let's go for... We're going to go heavy on some things here. Okay. So I'm going to assume... We're going to go all engine. All right. Now this could be a complete failure, but maybe I'm going to learn something here. We're going to go all engine. It's just like all tech. That's what we're focused on. Okay. Now we're going to go... Um, Alright, we'll stick with that there. This might turn out real bad. I know, right? Are the games you make in Pigtendo based on humans then? <laughs> World design's not as important. Graphics and sound, very important. Let's do that. We're going heavy. Heavy tech right now. But it's a simulation, so you would think a simulation would need heavy tech. Um, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Can I market? I can do marketing. Uh, but it's very expensive too. It's best experiment carefully marketing to get a feel for what works best. Don't invest too much and remember that timing is important. Don't invest in your marketing efforts too early in development or too late. It's also important to know that no matter how much money you pump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. It can even hurt to market bad games too as it can upset your existing fans. Ah, well then let's wait until we find out if this is a good game or not. <laughs> the Vito Oasis is coming to an end. Oh, the Oasis, that's a new game. So it's the Genesis. It'll appeal to more mature audiences. Ooh, schmancy. All right. Let's see how horrible this game turns out. Release game. New release available character progression. All right, cool. Game review, the first reviews are in. Eight! We'll take it. Seven, okay, that's fine. Nine! Okay, like a 775? Well, there you go. Not bad. Uh, let's develop a new game. What should we do now, y'all? What should we do now? I want to build up a little bit of research points so we can research a lot of, like, high-level engine stuff and then make just, like, a crazy good engine. You know what I mean? Um, what do you think? How about a superhero RPG? All right? The, uh, the Hamvengers did not do very well the first time because it was a simulator, and they said... That's a horrible combination. What are you doing? So let's try Hamvengers um, in Piggity War. <laughs> uh, 
Age of Bortron. There we go. Superhero action for sure. Yeah, we can do an action game. We can do an action game. I need to get. I need to get. A, ooh, fantastic pork! I like that, yeah, boss. I need to get an RPG series going. We don't have an RPG series. Okay, so we're doing an action game. Action games are all about gameplay. All about the gameplay. We're going extreme here, y'all. Okay. Uh, Hamvander's Age of Bortron. Level design's important. AI is also pretty important. We're going to leave that exactly how it is. Honestly, we're going to do the same thing for the next part, too, I think. We're basically treating this exactly the same as we treat... Ah, world design's probably important, too. Okay, something like that. Um, so basically, we're treating it the same way as the other one, except we're going... Instead of engine, we're going gameplay. The Vena Oasis has been released. We can make Genesis games. All right, let's try it out. Ooh, 30 design points? Ooh. All right. I should have marketed it. I didn't even think about it. All right, so while we're waiting, can I have you both research things? All right, you should research. Um, let's get... We're going to skip mono sound. We can go to straight to stereo. Graphic 3D graphics or 2D graphics version 3. That's 80 points for that one. Let's go with, because um, we can get two things done at once. Let's do better user experience. Okay. Start research there. And then you do um, 3D graphics. Medium games, these are larger games with more options and things like that. It's going to also be, um, they... They're more expensive and they're riskier, but they can also sell way better. So we'll, we'll maybe try researching those. First reviews for Age of Bortron have come in. Not great. Enjoyable. Seven. Okay. Six. Okay, this is going to be somewhere in the middle there. So I'm glad we didn't like really ham fist it with the uh, um, marketing. Okay, so made some mistakes. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, Natasha, how's it going? Got ourselves plenty of games out on the market, though. We're making our money back from buying into this new place. Pictendo's off the market. It made 600000 in sales, basically. I have followed the progress of Nintendo for a while, and it seems with your recent expansion, you've started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. Publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They'll also help fund development. In return, they can keep most of the profits. But since the game will sell a lot more, it's usually worth it. Um, I can put you in touch with some publishers so you can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know. Oof. That's tough, man. That's tough. Do we sell out already? Do we? Uh, fine publishing contract has been unlocked. It's accessible in the action menu. Um, we'll, we'll probably wait to jump right into the published games deal. Uh, all right. We're good on our research. Let's uh, develop a new game. So we can make medium games now. Do we want to try to make our first own medium game on us? Like just us? What do you think? What do you think? You know, let's let's also research some new topics. We have enough research. I think we can get two new topics. So let's get government. Why would you? All right. Government sim, I guess. And let's research another new topic. Pirate Yar. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right. So we're going to get both of these new topics. So if we're going to make a pirate game, what type of pirate game would we make? Let's make a medium-sized game. This is the spiritual successor. This is going to be a detective game. Spiritual successor to the original <laughs> do pirate detectives, uh, Encyclopedia Brown. So this one is an adventure game. It's a detective adventure game. It's going to also be on the game link. Swine engine. Same engine. Okay. But this is a detective, not a um, mystery. So who's our detective? We have Encyclopedia Brown. Made Doom yet? No, we don't have any first-person shooters or anything like that yet. This is going to be our biggest endeavor yet, y'all. It's a medium-sized game. What do you think? Gordon. Inspector Gordon. Inspector Gordon. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Let's do it, y'all. All right. So, creating larger games is a significant task, and unlike in small games, one person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of the game. To create a good game, and to make best use of your team, you'll have to assign which of your team is responsible for which areas. The team members whose skills match the area, when you assign the team responsibilities, you'll see their workload. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. With only two people, this is actually not going to work very well at all. Going to be in trouble. Okay, um, well, so what did we say for adventure games? It's all about story and quests, right? Do, 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 do. So let's grab... I don't think I can even do this, can I? All right, so who's the best at design? We'll put Prusi here. Oh my gosh, we're in trouble, y'all. This is gonna be bad. We're gonna be overloaded. We're gonna be overloaded. But now I'm, I, I remember now. So you have to have at least three people to do this well, you know? Do, 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 do. Okay. So we're just gonna overload me. Uh, you can do dialogues in this. Oh, actually, no, you know, Price is going to do this. You're going to do this. Do, 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 I'm going to get so overloaded here. Level design is somewhat important. Do, do, do. Something like this. Oof. Oof. It's going to be rough, y'all. Hey, Avengers Age of Bortron has sold. Okay. Let's do a little bit of marketing. Not a lot. Magazines. Choose that. Yep. Do. A lot of bugs. Okay. So now we're going to have to do, because we're going everything. Do we do everything for this? I think we do. So we're gonna go like this, this, and this. Yikes. Oof, we're both gonna be just overwhelmed. We need a vacation. Time down your employees need to recharge their batteries, go on vacation. You can tell that employees in need of rest when their efficiency steadily decreases. Give them a holiday, click on it. Yeah, we're sending everybody on vacation after this, y'all, okay? Don't worry. I'm sorry, I apologize for engaging in the most horrid of video game development um, problems, which is crunch time. But let's get this done first, huh? All right, game is out. All right, we'll take it. We'll see how it does. Release the game. New research available, multiplayer, branching story, better AI, day and night cycle. Wow, okay, you're going on a vacation, buddy. Do it. Can I send myself on vacation? I cannot. All right, Warden Vector's on vacation. What do people think of Inspector Gordon? Oh, it's not great. Oh, it's not great. And this is the thing about these bigger games, is when you make bigger games, but, you know, you don't have the huge group of people to make it with, it's not that great. Yikes. Oof, not good, y'all, not good.